The Panzer III, or Panzer Kampfwagen III, was developed in the late 1930s to fulfill the Wehrmacht's need for a medium tank capable of engaging enemy armor. Designed by Daimler Benz, it was intended to complement the heavier Panzer IV by focusing on anti tank combat. The Panzer III featured a well-balanced design with a five-man crew, providing dedicated roles for the commander, gunner, loader, driver, and radio operator. Early models were equipped with a 37mm KWK-36 gun, which was soon upgraded to the more effective 50mm KWK-38 and later the 50mm KWK-39L-60. The tank's armor ranged from 15mm to 70mm, offering decent protection against small arms and light anti-tank weapons. Its torsion bar suspension provided good mobility across varied terrain, making it a reliable vehicle for fast-paced operations. The 50mm main gun of the Panzer III gave it a competitive edge against early war tanks. It could penetrate the armor of most contemporary enemy vehicles, making it a formidable opponent in tank duels. The tank was also armed with two 7.92mm MG-34 machine guns for infantry support and close-quarters defense. While its firepower was effective during the early years of the war, the Panzer III eventually struggled against the increasingly heavily armored Soviet T-34 and KV-1 tanks, necessitating further upgrades and support from other German tanks. The Panzer III was the backbone of Germany's panzer divisions during the early Blitzkrieg campaigns. It played a crucial role in the invasions of Poland and France, as well as in the early stages of Operation Barbarossa. Its mobility and firepower made it ideal for rapid advances and flanking maneuvers. The Panzer III also saw extensive service in North Africa under Rommel's Africa Corps, proving its versatility in different combat environments. However, as the war progressed and enemy tanks became more formidable, the Panzer III was gradually phased out of frontline service and relegated to support roles, including reconnaissance and command vehicles. Despite being overshadowed by newer and more powerful tanks, the Panzer III was continuously upgraded throughout its service life. Variants included the flamethrower-equipped Panzer III, Flam, and the Sturmgeschütz III, Stuji III an assault gun based on the Panzer III chassis that became one of the most effective tank destroyers of the war. Today, the Panzer III is remembered as a key component of Germany's early war successes. Its design influenced future tank development, and its legacy lives on in the numerous surviving examples found in museums and collections around the world. In conclusion, the Panzer III was a critical element of the Wehrmacht's armored forces during World War II. Its blend of mobility, firepower, and adaptability made it a formidable weapon in the early years of the conflict. If you enjoyed this look at the Panzer III, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more military history insights. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.